Hey everybody, Fallout here, and let's talk about melee ranges in Destiny 2. A lot of people have been asking me to figure them out. Kind of hard to do without private matches, but nothing's impossible, so here we go. I have a bunch of different ranges to show you, but let's start off with the basics. Here are the basic melee ranges of each class without any additional range boosting from any armor or any skill tree perks. And what do you know, as Bungie promised, all classes in D2 have the exact same base melee range. Keyword, base. Now, the Stormcaller, infamous in D1 for having a crazy long melee, has a range boosting perk on both skill trees in D2. So where do they fit in on the range chart? Right here. Slightly longer than the basic Warlock melee range, but nothing too crazy. I want to say for the record that it might be possible, might be possible, that maybe melee ranges are different in PvP than they are in PvE, maybe. I can't test that now because matching up with friends in D2 at the moment is incredibly difficult and we don't have private matches. I say it might be shorter in PvP because it feels shorter in PvP, but I don't like saying things based on just feelings, you know? Feelings are what I like to call bro science, not actual hard results, which we strive for here. So if we get private matches or matching with friends becomes easier, I'll let you know right away, I promise. In the meantime, that is the Stormcaller melee range for both PvE and PvP as far as we know right now. Next, the Arc Strider has a perk called Deadly Reach, which basically gives you a longer melee range after you dodge. That one is tricky to test out because you have a limited time window after dodging to pull off that long melee. From what we can tell, this is the range for that perk though. Further than the Stormcaller, confirmed. Not friggin' bad. All you Arc Striders out there, try to get familiar with that spacing in PvP because you can hit from far away after dodging. Here's the big one I wanted to show you though, so settle in. There's a piece of exotic armor for the Titan called the Syntheseps, and they grant increased melee range. How far? This far. Hmm. Yeah, remember back in D1 when everybody made jokes about Titans having T-Rex arms? Yeah, not anymore. Really though, this is kind of intense. In all honesty, this piece of armor could be solely responsible for giving the Titan one of the best neutral games in Destiny 2. I mean, how can you argue with melee range like that? Very high tier armor for the Titan, if you ask me. Now I know there's one additional range perk for the Striker called Knockout, where critically wounding an enemy or breaking shields increases melee range and damage. I kind of can't test that right now without doing it in PvP, I promise I'll try to work on it. But hey, no matter what, Titans have range now though. I think that actually the Arc Strider and the Titan may have the exact same max range between Deadly Reach and the Syntheseps, even though they look a little bit apart. Again, it's just hard to get the exact distance down for the Arc Strider since the dodge perk only gives you a short window to figure it out. Either way, there are your melee ranges. Do with that information what you will, and if you'd be so kind, please like this video if you found it helpful in any way, and I hope you did, and please subscribe to my channel for more Destiny 2 content like this. Also, follow me on Twitch, because I told you to. Thanks for watching, hope you learned something, see you next time.